Welcome, everybody, again to another fantastic edition of Diamond's Corner. Today we have, I mean, ABQ, Albuquerque Street Fighter, 11th degree black belt, in a Mary Doty, Master Ken joining us. Say hello, Master. Hello, Master. Well, so how are you keeping yourself busy in, in these crazy quarantine times? Well, uh, I've done a variety of things. Um, by the way, happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you too, sir. You have some nice yeah. uh, Earth, an earthy mustache, I see. Yeah, thank you. I got some dirt in it. I was outside. Um, I wanted a better view of the horizon today uh, to celebrate Earth Day so that I could see the Earth. So I was out back of the dojo and I cut down about half a dozen trees and I can see the earth so much better. <laughs> well, it, it's about the view of Earth Day and, and you have to do what you have to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Master Ken, you've inspired so many, you've influenced so many. Um, walk us through the rest of your day today. What are you going to be doing today? Well, I'm going to be working on, uh, I'm always working on new techniques. Uh, I'm going to be doing some videos. I have some special request videos. I do videos on an app called Cameo where people can uh, ask for, uh, they can send a request for a specific video about a specific question. Um, working on a video about an art that deals with bayonet fighting. Um, mm. I actually created this uh, Bayonet here. Um, so I made a bayonet weapon here. I like that. Uh, yeah, but what I noticed that a lot of these guys don't do properly is they don't put the blade curving up in the way of the barrel, which you want to do because then every bullet becomes two bullets because it flies out and then it gets cut in half right about here. And so you can shoot two bullets out of one bullet. I heard a story that you were um, prototyping with that uh, bayonet there. And you shot a man right between the eyes, except that you got both thighs with that new innovation. Exactly. Now you don't, you used to have to shoot them between the eyes unless you had two guns. But now you can just shoot them in the eyes. You're, you're so wise. You're so creative when it comes to, you know, weaponry, uh, technique, you know, close hand fight, combat and fighting. Uh, I mean, you, you've done a hundred uh, ways to attack the groin. You've done 101 ways to attack the groin. You've, so really, I mean, that's 201 ways, if you think about it. Uh, that's 201 ways to attack the groin. I mean, when you've accomplished so much in, in, in your career, Sometimes do you think maybe you've done it all in martial arts? All that there needs to be done completely? More than anyone? More than Bruce Lee? More than John Jones? More than Mr. Miyagi? Has Master, Kun, excuse me, Master Ken done it all? Well, I've done more than all of those people, uh, but for different reasons. Uh, I've done more than Bruce Lee because I lived longer. Uh, I've done more <laughs> for... Uh, I've done more than John Jones because I haven't been arrested um, nearly as often. Um, I've done more than, uh, who else did you mention? Well, you know, of course, Mr. Miyagi, one of the greats. Oh, Mr. Miyagi, yeah. I've done more than him because I do my own stunts. Uh, because he was just an actor uh, that had another martial artist come in and do his stuff. Whereas when you see me doing it, it's all the real deal. Um, so I, I, I just have a, uh, I am uh, prolific, uh, which is uh, similar to being a diabetic, except that my, my illness is that I have too much knowledge. I have more knowledge than I can ever communicate to people. So really, I have to create new techniques every single day or I'll literally explode. Let me ask you, you know, there's a rumor going around that Dana White was talking to you about using, and we shouldn't say this because I don't know if it's public, 
Fight Island is actually your island, one of your many islands, is what the rumor is. And that, that you're making well, possibly making this happen. Yeah, for legal reasons, I can't necessarily confirm it. All I'm saying is that uh, when you're out on an island, you're not usually technically part of a country. Therefore, you're usually outside of their laws and rules. So that might be the appeal of fighting on an island. Uh, for instance, anyone who's lived on an island knows that there are also no speed limits uh, because it's unenforceable. You can't get a speeding ticket if you are driving on an island. Do you know, speeding and, and speed, I mean, some of your techniques and punches and kicks have been clocked, you know, in, in, in record you know, record numbers. Is, is that why you prefer to train on the fight island at times? So there's just, there's no rules and nobody can kind of curb your speed and, and, and intensity and power. Yeah, nobody can uh, give me a ticket for punching too fast. Thank you. That's what also, I was trying to say. Um, also, you know, th that is a big way of how I've developed the Maradote is that uh, all of the techniques should really be as fast as possible. You don't want fights to go on as long, even as they do in the UFC. That's a big problem with me. Like, three five-minute rounds, I mean, who wants to fight for 15 minutes? So uh, that's why when I train my students, I tell them no cardio. No cardio whatsoever. Cardio is bad. Don't focus on cardio. I don't want my students to stand here and punch Bob, you know, for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm, of course. I want them to take all their punches and just... <laughs> and that's the whole fight. Quickness. Finish them, efficiency. I like that. Yeah, most things in life uh, should be done hard and fast and should be over as soon as possible. Of course. Uh, Master Ken, I don't want to take up any more of your time because I, I know you're a busy man. We can find you on Cameo. We can find you. Uh, it, w where can the people find the master? Yeah, you can order, uh, if you want a personalized video message, uh, uh, want me to tell you why your martial art is no good or, uh, or uh, slap your sensei around or whatever, you can just go to Cameo, it's Google Master Ken Cameo, or uh, look at me on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I'm not hard to find because I'm the only, the only one of me out there. Master Ken, if, if there's any advice, you know, in parting words that you could give our audience, uh, you know, to, to stay positive and stay healthy, stay tough during this time. Now's the time. Give, give us a, a, a word of wisdom. Sure. Um, I would uh, make sure to stay, uh, not just stay isolated within your domicile, but always be working on being isolated within your room, protected, okay? Uh, don't turn your back on anybody. Like, I have my back turned on Bob right now because I know that he's inanimate, okay? But you should be entering every room, protecting your back. So I just, I only want to see from now on people moving like this. Okay, so you should, every room you're in, just keep your back to the wall. You'll always be protected. Mr. Ken, I love it. Back to the wall and stay protected. Everybody look up Master Ken. Thank you for coming on. And he's going. And we're going to have you again soon. You've been a big support to our brand, and we love uh, the one and only Master Ken. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks, Master. Us.